Hello and welcome to English with Jimmy. And today we are going to talk about fruits and fruits idioms. Okay, the phrases we use the name of fruits in. Okay, idioms or phrases. Uh, we're starting with, as you can see, apple, apricot, avocado, banana, blackberry, black currant, blueberry, cherry, coconut. Fig, grape, grapefruit, kiwi, lemon, lime, lychee, mango, nectarine, orange, papaya, passion fruit, peach, pear, pineapple, plum, pomegranate, quince, raspberry, strawberry, watermelons. These are like most or the majority of the fruits that are common and we talk about and we eat or drink <laughs> as a juice. Again, here is a, a, a list of or uh, uh, the names of the fruits again, as you can see here, most of them, I think. Yes. Okay. And then we're moving on to the uh, idioms, fruits, idioms. Okay. Uh, the first idiom is banana. So when you say he's gone banana, or oh, this guy must be bananas, must be, you mean he's crazy. Okay? Crazy. If you love someone dearly, you call him, you say, or oh, you care a lot about him, you say, you are the apple of my eye. So my daughter is the apple of my eye. I love her very much. Okay? So here you say, that you care very much about someone, okay? Uh, sour grapes, here we're using grapes, and we see means criticism of something unattainable. And here's an example. She is ranting and raving, which means she's angry, very angry, shouting and screaming and stuff like that, because the company fired her, it is just sour grapes. It's like the story of the fox who tried to reach the grapes to eat them, and he couldn't eat them, he, so he said they're sour, or this is a story, something like that. So when you can't get any something, something in particular, and you start to criticize it, that is sour grapes. It's because you can't get it, okay? Sour grapes. They upset the apple cart, okay? Uh, here is an apple cart, a photo of it or something. Yeah, you can see now just an apple cart, okay? And here are the apples all over the ground, and it was like turned over. So when we say uh, you upset the apple cart, means you disrupted something, you destroyed it, or you uh, you ruined. He revealed that the uh, that the company's products were faulty and upset the apple cart. So it's like you you uh, disrupted. A job okay or oh, interfere in a way that is very disruptive so we call that upset the apple cart as american as an apple pie apple pie i like apple pies actually i don't know if you like it or not anyway so it means typical american all right so baseball is an is as american as an apple pie so it represents america like uh, fish and chips represents england <laughs> Okay. Cherry picking means selecting the best. So if you go shopping, you pick only the nice uh, ripe fruits that you like or the best vegetables. But sometimes you could say, okay, so uh, sorry, but no cherry picking. The whole package or none at all. So it's either you take the good and the bad, okay, the, the ripe and the rotten, okay, so or none at all. So cherry picking is selecting the best. You try to pick the best. Uh, uh, obviously, everyone wants when he buys something, he wants to take only the good stuff, not the uh, rotten stuff or the stuff that is unedible or whatever, okay. Uh, apples and oranges, okay, means different from each other. So Don and Steve are like apples and oranges, okay, an orange is an orange. An apple is something else. They're not the same, so they are different. Go per shaped means uh, to fail. So what will happen if our plan goes per shaped? It looks like a per, which means uh, like it didn't work. All right. Here is a per shaped. You can see this uh, lady here. Okay, you can see a per. So the top part of the lady. 
and the bottom bar part is is uh, are like disproportioned. They're not uh, the same size. So the top is narrow and the bottom is wide. That's pear shaped. Okay. So uh, that when you have two things that are not similar, okay, uh, and there's no harmony between them or they look different, that is described as a failure. Okay. So yeah, that's right. It's described as a failure. So when the top part is not the same size as the bottom part, that's pear shaped and it's, uh, considered. I don't know. Uh, they like consider as a as a failure to fail. So what will happen if our plan goes pear shaped, which means part of it will be different from the other part, which, may, which means the plan's not really uh, successful, failed. Pear shaped. Go pear shaped. Okay. Uh, lemon, okay, is uh, is uh, like something is bitter uh, and it's not too sweet or too, not enjoyable a lot. It okay? means something that's not working or not profitable, okay? The company I bought last month turned out to be a lemon, okay? So he bought a company and it's not profitable, so he called it a lemon. That's how we describe uh, 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 something that is not making a profit or not successful, a lemon. Peach uh, this, uh, means beautiful, okay? Uh, thanks for the flower. You are a peach, okay? She's, when you're thanking someone uh, or, or you want to compliment them, okay, and say that you're lovely, you're a nice person. So you say thanks for the, uh, for the flowers. You are a peach. So peach is a, a, like a description of beauty. Plum uh, means very good or something you like a lot, okay? So I got a plum job, which means a nice job, uh, a good job by working for this bank. It's probably getting a good salary and uh, nice working hours and uh, the perk of the jobs, maybe a car or something like that. So a plum means very good. And I got a plum job by working for this bank. Okay, another, and that's another idiom, yeah. A bite at the cherry, okay, means a good chance comes only once, okay? So you only get one bite at the cherry in life. So you get one good chance in life and shouldn't waste it. Just take it straight away, okay? A bite at the cherry. Yes, a bite at the cherry, not a bite at the apple, <laughs> okay? Yes, a bite at the apple kicked Adam and Eve out of heaven. Anyway, so we move on. As red as a cherry means very red, okay? His face went red like a cherry. Yeah, that happens, okay? Probably in cold weather or if you had a stiff drink, okay? You get a nice red nose, okay? So as red as cherry means very red. Or if you're very angry, okay? Or very embarrassed, you, well, if you're embarrassed, you get blushed, you blush, okay? A lady blushes when... Uh, not really, really red, but when you had a stiff drink, you get very red, okay? Whiskey or something. Uh, the cherry on a cake means the final thing that makes something perfect, okay? Final touch, okay? So our trip was wonderful, and the lovely weather was the cherry on the cake. That's it. The trip was wonderful, and the uh, lovely weather was the cherry on the cake um, just to make it perfect, perfect uh, holiday. A second bite at the cherry uh, means a second chance, okay? So not often you get a second chance or second bite at the cherry. That's also uh, about cherry as well. Oh, lots of cherries here, actually. Life is a bowl of cherries. Again, another cherry, so life is good. Sometimes life becomes a bowl of cherry. Yes, for the lucky few, actually. <laughs> life becomes a bowl of cherries, and you can have lots of good chances. That makes you happy. A bad apple means a troublemaking or a dishonest person. So, example, she's really a bad apple. So, the bad apple uh, causes trouble and is a person who lies and dishonest and whatever. We call him a bad apple. Uh, the apple never falls far from the tree means the family characteristics, okay, are inherited, which is true. Uh, many times you get uh, like a, a singer or an artist and his talent is uh, like inherited by his children. His son showed his own acting talent, proving that the apple doesn't fall far 
from the tree, which means the son like son like father, okay? Or like father, yes, like father like son. Yeah, uh, the son is like his dad. He's got is a, a good acting uh, or good actor, okay? Uh, Big Apple, we always describe New York City. New York City. We know we have a York City in England, but uh, in America we have New York, okay? Yes, and it's a lovely city. And we, we call it the Big Apple, okay? We spend the weekend um, in the Big Apple, okay, enjoying themselves. I think everyone knows Times Square, yes, over there in the Big Apple, New York City. Uh, when life gives you lemons, okay, make lemonade, which means uh, make the best of a difficult situation, okay? So if your business isn't doing well, work harder, yes, work harder. As the going say, when life gives you lemons, okay, make lemonade, which is will be a good thing if you can do that with your life, yes. Make a good thing out of a difficult situation. Uh, not give a fig means uh, to not care, okay? Uh, do what you want. I don't give a fig, which means I don't care, all right? To bear fruit, uh, here's another idiom, okay, means to succeed or make a profit. Fruit, here's, we're talking about all the fruits, okay? Um, any kind of fruit, to bear fruit, which means to give a result. Our hard work is beginning to bear fruit, which means to give a, a result and a profit, okay? For the venture or the business you're doing. Through the grapevine, we all know the grapevines, uh, like the leaves of the grapes, okay? So when you uh, say, I heard it through the grapevines, which means, you heard a whisper or rumors, okay, or gossip. So I heard through the grapevine, okay, that you will be promoted. So you heard that that's like a secret, okay? So while uh, uh, some people are talking, you they can't see you because of the grapevines, like protecting you or hiding you. And behind them, you're standing there listening, and you heard the whisper or the secret they're talking about, which is I heard through the grapevine or the rumors or the gossip that you will be promoted. One last idiom uh, before we finish is uh, a fruit uh, basket or fruit cake. Uh, we sometimes describe a uh, person who is uh, a little bit unstable or going a bit crazy, like banana. We can say that he's a fruit cake or a fruit basket. Okay, <laughs> so that's also one of the descriptions. Okay, uh, fruit basket is usually traditionally for the honeymoon suite. If you're getting married and you book the honeymoon suite or whatever, you will find champagne, you will find oysters, and you will find a fruit basket full of lovely fruits because it's very good uh, uh, and full of vitamins and it gives you lots of energy for the newlywed. So a fruit basket is a nice gift, uh, a good gesture that uh, you present to someone who is uh, you're trying to show goodwill. But also fruit cake can mean is someone who's oh, a person who's crazy. It could be a lady or a gentleman, doesn't matter, male or female. He's, gone, he's a fruit cake or she's a fruit cake means that they are a little bit crazy, okay? That's it, girls and guys, okay? Today's subject is about fruits. We mentioned uh, lots of different kinds of fruits, okay, and uh, we pronounce them, and we also talked about the idioms, okay, or the phrases where we can use these fruits in our conversation, day-to-day -day conversation, as you can see here, okay? That's it, and I thank you.